Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make some paperclip uh, decorative flowers and a lady by the name of Annette Shade um, on a group that I'm in, Rainbow Loom for Adults, found some of these and thought they were really good ideas and uh, we sort of worked out a little way of how to do this. So she found the, uh, the picture um, of a decorative paperclip uh, little loom and I have converted it I guess into a little flower to sit on your paper clip like so and I guess if you were putting it onto uh, some papers you would just be able to see it at the top like that I mean you could even really use it as a bookmark so there we go well, that's what we're going to make today very easy very simple um, you can choose whatever colors you want um, I'm using black for the centerpiece here I, I tried making um, a little poppy because I thought that would be quite nice um, you can use yellow for sunflowers or daisies or whatever really glow-in-the-dark ones even if, if that's what you choose but today I'm going to show you how to do the poppy so I'm using red and black and green and you're going to need obviously a paper clip I'm using one of the larger paper clips and you want to make sure that the bottom part like the two loops of your paper clip are at the bottom and this is the bit that we're going to be working on this is loomless you're not going to need your rainbow loom we're just going to need some bands so let's start by taking a single red band and doing a loop with it okay like that so you've got it looped and you're going to keep it like that against flush against your paper clip in the middle like that okay you're going to take a single red band and slide it <laughs> and flick it and slide it through the band and the paper clip okay like that that's our first chain then we're going to do that again like that okay so your little end cap is attached to your paper clip go back through the end cap and the paper clip and you're going to pull a red band a single red band through and then you're going to link those four loops that are on your hook together with a red band okay let's go through it again pull it through link them together let's do another time make sure you go through both the loops pull it through and link together now at this stage you can just do a little rosette around you don't have to put it you don't have to make it a flower but I'm making it a flower I'm going to take a green band single wrap it around my hook once twice and three times and then I'm going to take two green bands and put them on the end of my hook and slide that single green band on I'm not going to reclaim the end of my green bands just yet I'm going to take two put them on the end of my hook and slide up and reclaim those ones then I will reclaim these ones and take another two green bands and slide those two on and reclaim so I have all of these green on there I'm going to take a single green and I will slide all of those green bands on and reclaim like that that's going to be my little leaf let's find another another hook you can use a paper clip you can use um, toothpick pencil whatever let's just put that little leaf there okay with with another red come through your end cap and the paper clip you're pulling this through but we're going to leave this side okay empty because what we need to do now is put the green bands on slide the red so that it's in the middle and then pull the red through like that then you have those four red loops on your hook slide through to marry those all up we're going to do one more on our paper clip so a single through 
like that. And now what we're going to do is just use the end cap. Do not go through the paper clip anymore. So just through the end cap that's in the centre, pull it through and we'll finish our little circle here. Just through the end cap, not through the paper clip. And you do this until the circle is complete. So we could probably do one more just through the end cap that's in the middle. When you feel that that is joined up enough, you're going to lift this up. Now you can see that you have this first loop here, but this is our first stitch that we went through. Push your hook through the first two bands there like that. Grab a single red and you're going through all four loops, reclaiming, and do a slip knot to tie off. Okay, now you're going to make sure that the bits with the bands covering the paper clip are at the top. All right, there's your little flower. We're going to do a black, two black bands, wrap once, twice, and three times. Now I'm going to pull them through a red band, stretch it into a figure eight. You're going to slide that on so you've capped it, you've capped the band on itself. Reclaim. Top one goes over the other one. Pull tight. Make sure that you've pinched the, the black ones so that they don't get lost. And then you'll do the same thing. And it's just that this, these two bands now are half the size. Okay, so you poke that through and they're half the size of what they were. So go through a couple of these bands here. Grab those two loops so that they're looped in. Grab the tie-off band, drag it through and then again splay it out and pop it over the leaf just to secure it. Shape your leaf how you want stretch it all into shape and there you have your little flowers hope you enjoy making them take care and thank you Annette great idea take care